In this video, we're going to practice importing data into a MySQL table using the MySQL import tool. And so the information that we're going to import is class data. And if we take a look at the table that we're going to import into, We see that we need a class ID, a class name, an academic year, and teacher ID. And if we show what's already in the table, we see that we already inserted the language arts one class. So we just have to insert the rest. And the teacher ID is a foreign key. And so we need to use the teacher IDs that are already in the database. And we see that they are in order of teacher number or teacher ID already. Flores is one, Perez is two, Klein is three, and so on. So in my spreadsheet, I can just say this is teacher number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And teacher ID will come last. So if I think about arranging this in the order it has to happen, teacher ID is third, class name is first, and the academic year is 2017-2018. And now I just need to do this for all of the classes. So these classes are one through seven, These classes are one through seven. And the last three classes are one through three. And for consistency in the class table, we already had language arts, not lang arts. So I could replace lang period with language for consistency and probably replace the abbreviation for social as well. And get our academic years in. And get rid of the first line because we don't need it. And language arts one is already in there. So these are the classes that need to be added that don't already exist in the database. I can copy this data into a plain text file and copying from Excel creates a tab separated file already. So even though these look like spaces, they're really tabs. And that's exactly how we want to import it using MySQL import. So I'll save this plain text file in my folder as the table name.txt. And in this particular example, the table name is class. So I save that. And then back in the terminal using MySQL import. In Linux, you can just type MySQL import. In Windows and Mac, you probably have to type a full path unless you've already linked it to the MySQL import command. And you need a user, by default it's root. If you have a password on your database, you need the password. Minus C for columns, and now here's where we tell MySQL import what columns we're providing. We're providing class name, academic year, and teacher ID. So class year, or class name, academic year, teacher ID. Make sure you are copying capital and lowercase exactly. Then we tell it what database. Uh, my database is called Gradebook Example. If yours is called Test or something else, here's where you put the database name. And then we put the path to the file that we're importing. And so if 
I had already navigated to the folder that contained class.txt, I would be able to just type class.txt here. Instead, I'm going to drag and drop so that it will automatically fill in the full path for me. Here we go. Then it prompts me for my database password. And it says it imported 23 records, and we had 23 records to import. So that's how importing full tables or multiple lines of tables into a MySQL database works using the MySQL command line.